Hello everyone. So today our topic is on association. So first you need to know what do you mean by association. Association in simple terms we can say is nothing but relationship between two objects. Now the question can arise what do you mean by relationship? What kind of what kind of relationship is that? So in success factors we can have two types of relationship. One is one to many and another is one to one. As you see in the picture, in one to many, one object, one particular value can be associated with multiple values of other object. But in one to one, one object, one value can be associ associated with only one value of other object. So this is the relationship which in other term in success factor we can say as multiplicity now we can understand what is relationship and what is multiplicity so now the question is what kind of objects we are talking about where we are going to create the association so in association we need two two kind of object one is the source or child uh, child object another is the parent object Now what category of object are those? So depending on the category of those objects, we can classify the association in four types in success factors. What are that what are those types? First one is geo to geo. Geo means the generic object. As we know, the objects which are migrated from legacy FO2 foundation uh, MDF objects those objects are called the generic objects so first type is geo to geo second type is geo to fo generic object to legacy foundation object third type is foundation object to generic object and fourth type is legacy foundation object to legacy foundation object i have already uh, selected few examples to demonstrate here so that uh, based on that we can configure those associations and uh, we can learn how we can create the association and how we can use that so first example in geo to geo association between two standard mdf objects cost center and department so let's go to the success factor screen and try to configure this one Let me log in here. Okay, so first, as those are the very new guy and success factors for them, let me demonstrate how the association looks like in screen. Let's go to manage data. Then choose one object called cost center. And uh, there is already ready made few cost centers. As you can see, in this cost center, legal entity or company code 7500 is associated. So, this is how the association looks like in screen. Now, how to configure that? Let's go to configure object definition. the search we select object definition and our object is cost center which is a standard MDF object as we know geo so let's take action make correction go down to association section here first we need to put the name I'm putting the name to department as you see cost underscore this prefix is already going to be added automatically so this is the feature from success factor this is to identify this is the custom things we are going to prepare 
second thing is the multiplicity as i already discussed this is about the cardinality relationship what kind of one to many we are going to maintain destination object should be department type here we need to put some focus because this is an important point the three types are available first is composite second is valid one and third is joined by column so when two objects which are completely independent not dependent on any other objects between those two objects if we want to create any association then the type should be valid when if we want to create association between two objects where one of the object is dependent on some other object how we can identify this object is dependent if we check the effective dating we can see here it is basic that means this object is not dependent if the effective dating is from parent then that object is definitely dependent on some other object so where the objects effective dating is from parent for those that kind of objects which are called the composite objects which are dependent on some other objects for those objects if you want to create an association then you have to choose the composite type and the third type is the join by column this is basically used between internal columns within internal source object so this type basically right now is not used in report purposes as well so in project work as well i have not found any requirement for preparing any association on this type join by column so we are not discussing on this uh, third type we are going to focus on these two type only which are widely used so here cost center and depend department both objects are independent objects so i am just putting the type second type as valid when so here you can see name multiplicity destination object type all are already filled up by us now next column is destination column object and source object column these two op columns these two fields are used when we choose the uh, third type called join by column but we are not using that right now so th those are not usable next is is tran transient if we want our association fields field values going to be saved in database then we should choose the is transient value as no but if we want the values should be transient one which will populate during runtime only no need to save data in uh, database then we choose the option called yes here we are choosing the option as no because we want that value need to be used in other reporting purposes later in rest of the fields the important fields are called required which uh, indicates if we choose as yes yes then the association become entry visibility if choose edible edible then the association value we can edit as well read and edit both if not visible it uh, it will not show and if read only then it will be only we can view but not editable status active inactive we are choosing the status as active here level we are putting some level department association and casket this field is used basically there are three options no selection none and save no selection and none if uh, these two options are selected then the association fields will be read only in bcui business configuration ui but if we choose a safe then association fields can be edible in bc ui so this is the difference we just put it as none we don't need it as editable there now field criteria so what is the importance of these fields if we want uh, as i already told in association two objects are being used one is called child another is called parent now using filter criteria we can filter values in child based on the values of parent how it is 
for an example based on parent value as 1 I can populate child value as 2 3 4 but child have other values as well 7 8 9 but based on uh, but 1 is only associated with child values of 2 3 4 so this is how the filter criteria we can apply so based on the parent fields value we can populate or filter the child fields values in filter criteria we can see there are three fields source field destination and default destination value so source field is basically the child child object destination field is basically the parent parent object field and default value we can put any default value so based on that default value it will be populated how it it will work we will we'll see now uh, for an example in this association we are putting effective start date this field as filter criteria and putting default data as okay that means that means cost center here it is going to be associated with department so if the start date of cost center is 1 1 2017 suppose and one department is created 1 1 2018 then that department will be in scope to get associated with cost center but if the department creation date is before then 1 1 2017 suppose it is created 1 1 2016 that department that department will not come in scope for association for that particular cost center well so this is how actual filter criteria works i'm going to save it now condition field we are going to discuss first test our value then come back to condition again so our association is initially created saving it and one another important point here what is the direction of association association follows flow from child to parent and association is always created or placed on the configuration object definition of child so here we have created the association in cost centers object definition so that means cost center here is the child object and department is the parent object now let's go and create some data first let us create some department data so let's create this department data as 0101 2017 it so remember I'm just putting the start date as 1 1 2017 now go to cost center here you can see the department association is already built up we just created so here the effective start date is 20th March 2018 now let's try to search that department we just created with the effective date of 2017 now this is available 
why because the start date of department is greater than the start date of course center now let's change the date here let's put it 0101 2016 and if we try to find these we can't find that because the department start date is 11 2017 which is after the course center start date and this happened because we applied the filter criteria in our association now again go back to our association for the for to check the condition field So in condition field, we can apply condition based on any field of that child object. So here I'm putting external code of cost center and let's just put one cost center value. Seven five zero zero two two zero zero. So only for this cost center our association will be populated for rest of the cost center it will not populated let's see if it is happening or not So here if we want to create another cost center and the department association is gone. Now let's check that particular cost center. The department association is there we can add any department if we want so this is the utilization of condition field so our first example is successfully tested now second example uh, association between one custom MDF object with a standard MDF object to uh, demonstrate that I already uh, created one custom object called profit center and already link that custom object profit center with job information so now I'm going to create the association between cost center and profit center and after creating the association we will going to apply the filter criteria of that association so that based on cost center fields the profit center will be populated in the job information how to achieve that let's do it so here choose our custom field called profit center which we have already created take action make correction go to association part here put the session to cost center make the association as one to many put the definition cost center here we'll put the type as valid when because both objects are independent and the rest of the things we are keeping as it is and save it So let's go to manage business configuration to check the job information configuration here if the profit center is field is already there or not and if it is there what is the uh, technical name of that field Just 
second time in the opening okay now the screen appears this is why here go to job information Again, it's taking time, but sometimes this much more to most of the board is left. Now it is opened, and we can see the proper center field is set up here with the caustic field name as custom string. Now, what we need to do in field criteria here, we need to populate the values so that our cost profit center to cost center association we can use as filter criteria here how to do that let's do it via xml upload then provisioning so here it is the provisioning system okay import export data model let's download the data model first Data model get downloaded. Let's open it. XML pad. So data model is opened. Let's go to table view to search the field. Here it is job information. I scroll down scroll go to HR section I have created the object in object work field list here go to HRS fields and we can find custom string one is here let's go to source again so here we need to apply the filter criteria so already one filter criteria is there let's just copy it and modify that so we have copied but what is the content there let's check here field field criteria destination field value as we told it should be the child object here the child object is cost center in job information please be careful the name the cost center should match else it will throw an error cost hyphen center and the second thing is source field name that should be our association that we created what the association we have created that is cost to cost center cost to cost center now here one thing need to be noted cost center as you know it is an standard geo means standard generic object it is already migrated from legacy foundation object to standard geo, uh, generic object so in uh, in case of standard generic objects we always need to choose internal ID as a reference so here also internal ID is already chosen and if we are going to build a filter criteria for any legacy foundation object in that case you need to choose the field called external code or external ID not internal ID for geo we need to choose internal ID for FO we need to choose external code so that is the funder need to know now our filter criteria is set let's load it okay 
is uploading. Waiting for the server response, it is uploaded now. So after uploading generally it takes one or two minutes of time to get it synced with instance so let's log in again just to log out I'll log in again to manage business configuration to job information and uh, go to Profit Center Custom Stink One. Go to details. Yes, so we have successfully uploaded that. Now filter twenty F comes. Now it is testing part. Open another window. Uh, create one some data okay let's uh, pick up one employee first mark burke to his employment information here go to organization information let's edit and uh, now go to profit center so here you can see the cost center is 85002200 let's go and check manage data Center the call center is available, just assign that call center here. Uh, so let's check it in profit center. No data is showing here because there is no call center associated with that. Now we have created the configuration, let's put some data. 8500 8500 save it now one cost center is there let's check it again now it is coming that means our filter criteria is working so this is how we need to create the association and this is how we need to apply the filter criteria so our second example is also successfully tested now our second category of association that is association between one custom mdf object with the legacy foundation object that is an interesting thing so uh, 
here we have chosen one uh, custom MDF object we have already created one custom MDF object for local area and the foundation object we have chosen the lo location so we need to create the association between local area with location and again we can apply the filter created in job information so that based on the location the local areas will be populated so how to do that let's do it again let's go to our configuration object configure object definition here I'm selecting object definition and local area this will is already created by me uh, and this field should be the child object and we need to create the association of location as a parent object with this field so putting the name as location okay putting the multiplicity as one to many here as you know location is a foundation object so it is not available in MDF so what is uh, success factors did for the object which are still not migrated in those object if we want to create any association with other geos then we need to use some pre-delivered wrappers for those objects like in location we have one wrapper available location wrapper so we can put destination object as location wrapper and location wrapper let's check the location wrapper object as well object definition object definition location wrapper so we can see location wrapper the effective taking is from parent that means this object is dependent on location this is not an individual object so in that case we need to use the type of association as composite and rest of the things remain as it is and saving the settings here So it is saving now and one thing we need to note here in location wrapper the external code this field having the valid value source as location that means this field is basically referring the external code of location in which is maintained in the XML corporate data model as a foundation object okay so we need to use this fields reference external code now our association is built up let's create some data quickly manage data auto manage data look area okay, let's create some local area first okay let's choose let's create some data which is relevant here here the 
particular em employees location is uh, 8510 0001 so create test local area 1 8510 001 Save it Let's create another one with the same location and creating another local area and save it now let's check uh, our data is now prepared now we need to do the same filter criteria option in job information as well so let's go to business configurations here the local area field is custom scene 2 so here as well you need to set that is I already done maintained so filter criteria was already maintained so here the source field you can notice the external code I have written not the internal ID because location is in foundation object so it is done now go to people based on the location the local areas should need to be populated let's check yes those are populated the other things I have maintained already the other values so this is how you can maintain the thing so this example is already also tested successfully now next example is association between one standard MDF object with the legacy foundation object and the example we have picked up is pay group and pay grade so uh, let's go to pay group configure object definition pay group as you know it is a MDF object so similarly we need to create to pay create yes one to many here as well so pay grade is a foundation object so similarly for pay grade as well there is one wrapper class is available wrapper object is available so again the wrapper object we are using that's why we are using the uh, association type as composite save it So it's saving after saving we can test and manage data go to pay group so here you can see in pay group the pay grades are available so we can choose and it is one to many so this example is also tested successfully pay group and pay grade now f4 to geo legacy foundation object to global foundation object association maintenance how to do that we need to do that via examples and the example we have chosen between location and legal entity location is the f4 legal entity is the geo here so let's download corporate data model first Corporate data model. It is downloading. 
it will take time like few seconds or one or two minutes let's wait for that then we can continue okay so download is completed now corporate data model is there let's open it via xml pad go to table view expand the tree each element so we need to associate uh, location with legal entity so go to location which is association is already maintained for view already maintained for geo zone so similar way we need to maintain the association for legal entity as well one too many we want so association id should be id multiplicity one too many distinction entity should be company what is that let's check it here always I prefer to copy from here because it is case sensitive and somehow you have written in a small letter or capital letter by mistake you will never find what is the error and you will just waste time in searching the things so always go to configure object definition copy the stuffs and paste it there so code is legal entity copy it paste it here and required is false which that is that means it is not mandatory so our xml is ready let's upload it again submit it it's uploading now Seventy percent, almost done. Okay, now upload is successful. So after upload, again we need to re login to check the steps. So manage ox PM job structure from where we can see the legacy foundation data here let's choose location and we can see legal entity association is already there we have maintained it successfully so this requirement is also fulfilled now the last requirement is fo to fo which is between location to location group and this also need to be maintained via corporate data model xml so let's go to table view Location group association select it go to source for geo zone here as well the one association is maintained so similar way copy the same thing and let's create our association for location And 
we want want to min here as well and this location be careful about the names to check it small l l o c a t i o n so i have the right thing now save it and upload it in provisioning so choose select submit so it is submitting now so after submitting you can go to the instance and check if it is uploaded correctly or not and you can see the desired result or not let's re-log in again Job structure. Go to location group. Here we can find the location association is we have maintained. So this is how we can maintain the associations in various types so hope you have enjoyed my video though it is pretty long but a uh, lot of useful stuffs are demonstrated in this video so please like share and subscribe and comment as well and please put your valuable feedback as well and your complex queries as well so that I can short it out and give you some useful solutions and just wish me best of luck as well. Thank you. Thanks a lot for stopping my video.